Hello friends. Now we are into the last part of uh, the process of creating a realistic project schedule. Maybe last but a very significant part. Now here uh, what we're saying is the schedule and the entire project management plan which is shown here goes through uh, an iterative process in which after the risk management process is performed, the entire uh, plan is iterated, maybe once, maybe twice. You can see the red line here. That is the iterated, uh, um, you know, process flow. So in this, what happens is some risks, which are part of the schedule as well as the cost and uh, you know, scope. But in the schedule which we are talking about now, some changes may come because of the impact of risks which have been identified and analyzed uh, in this process. So, the risk management process impacts the schedule and the final output is the performance measurement baseline for the schedule as well as for the cost. <clears throat> the three together, scope, time, cost, baselines are called the performance measurement baseline. So this is one important aspect of creating schedule because your schedule is not complete till you do the risk management effort, right? Now, one of the objectives of risk management is to quantify the probable time and cost impacts on the project due to risk events. Hence, there will be changes in cost and time worked out before risk analysis. That's what we said in, uh, earlier when looking at the previous slide. So the final iterated schedule after risk analysis is a schedule baseline or the schedule performance baseline. Now, once this is done, your schedule is completed in all respects. Yes, but there can be changes which can happen. But essentially, if the project is managed properly, the scheduled performance baseline as well as the cost and the scope performance baselines should not change. If they change, then that's a major change. 